Guys, what is up? I'm trying out my new camera. It's a Sony RX100. It's a Mark III. It's still, you know, I, I still think it's a good camera for what I need it for, which is basically just for the in and outs. You know, I, I lug a DSLR around for these videos and it's it's a lot of work, you know, I'm gonna have to carry, I always have to carry another tripod with me or a, a gorilla pod or something like that to, you know, keep a camera with me all the time. Hence why my videos have been lacking lately, just because I've been shooting a lot of large format and that's already a ton of gear that I have to lug around. So let's try this out. Let's try this little point and shoot out, see how that works. Um, it is pouring down raining outside. It has been for days. Basically, this is what is left of Harvey, Hurricane Harvey. There's poor people in Texas. And here I am complaining about some rain. But I think, I work at five today, so I think I'm gonna try to go to Goodwill and see if I can find anything. It has been a dry market at Goodwill lately, so um, my hopes aren't high, but hopefully I find something. It'd be cool to find a, a new point and shoot to try out, or one that's worth a ton of money that I can sell. We'll see. Let's try this camera out. made it to Goodwill and it's still raining. You gotta see these buzzards up here though. It's already not looking good for Goodwill. I saw one of the local film photographers that I shoot with at times already in here hunting for a camera. So it's not looking good. We'll see what we can do though. Okay, so not not the best trip to Goodwill, but I did find a couple cameras, nothing that really jumped out at me. I found that Kentucky Derby instant camera, not instant camera, disposable camera, and I got a Pentax camera too. It's a point and shoot. It's a telephoto, but it came with two rolls of film, so I will show you that once I get home. And I also got a belt. I'm gonna make a little wrist strap wrist camera strap out of it. I've been doing that with these like secondhand leather belts lately. Nick Exposed kind of put me on to thrifting belts. All right, I'm gonna get home and then I wanna do a what's in my bag for you guys because I've been planning this out for a little while now. I think it was like Ted Forbes or something like that brought up, had a video about it. And then when I saw you guys found the formula for the P30, I was just like, no way. Like this is great because I'm a, I'm a black and white shooter.
Alright guys, that is going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I carry in my everyday carry bag. It's a lot of fun putting this video together, getting to use this new camera. Good times. Good times. Okay, so every Wednesday on iTunes and Podbean, you can catch me on the Analog Talk podcast. And I also started a daily Monday through Friday vlog on this app called Anchor people behind me yelling. Um, I do this Monday through Friday vlog on Anchor called We Believe in Film. So you guys should check me out on there. And that's also on iTunes. So you can search for the Analog Talk podcast or We Believe in Film. So you can find me on Instagram at Timothy Makeups and here on YouTube. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Sunday. That's right. Two videos, one week. What? Later. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of We Believe in Film. Now it's Tuesday, September 5th, 2017. <laughs> I had to think about it there for a second. And I'm your host, Timothy Ditzler. Alright guys, what's going on? It is Tuesday. It is a little later than planned. I, I had a little bit of a lazy morning and then a busy...